when so when last we left you guys had gone to the bronze colossus and again um this was the luxurious uh caravanassery so where um you know you can get um where where kind of you can like, get any you know you, you can kind of have, have all sorts of uh I would say kind of luxuries from all over the, the world kind of are there, you know, this is sort of the four star resort and or club. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of, um, uh, kind of, I would say, you know, luxury, yeah, luxuries, comfort there, you know, um, and I, you know, so I think we can, uh, and I think we had just kind of gotten to that place. Like you guys had been to the, we had talked a little bit about, the, about that area outside of it where the well, the well was, um, where I think you guys learned, oh, did I put that in the, did I put that in the chat? Yeah, I, I had seen, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the well, right, yeah, dead bodies lowered into the well, um, and it's guarded at night. Okay. And then so, uh, and so, um, you know, it's called the Bronze Colossus uh, because um, it is in a building that is next to a statue of a remains of an, or, or kind of the remains of an ancient bronze statue. Um, so again, one of these uh, works of art and architecture that was made before the you know, the great cataclysm that shows kind of uh, the art, you know, kind of work craftsmanship that, you know, wouldn't necessarily be seen today. Um, the, the uh, rooms here, okay, I guess we'll, um, you know, so, as you kind of uh, come into this place, um, it's I think it's 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 one of these places where um, where you know even even though um, even though you guys are kind of um maybe a little uh well, so I'll, so so I'll, I'll I'll describe it a little bit um so the 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 bronze uh the kind of the bronze statue is 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 near the building to enter the building itself um there's a gate that leads into a little courtyard um, and then up up a set of steps into uh, you know kind of this this main area which is the I guess kind of like more like the, the the socializing tavern type area and this is such a classy place that that they uh, partly because and they're also used to kind of people coming from all over so they they they, they treat you very you know the 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 serving person or, or you know kind of comes over you know the head servant you know comes over to greet you um is very uh you know deferential and and um uh you know what do I say kind of like obsequious to you even though you guys kind of look like uh you know you guys don't necessarily like look like you've got a ton of money or anything but the the like just kind of like the assumption in a place like this is that if you if you're here you might have money so so they're not going to like take take look at that face value and there's like a lot of different people from all over who who are kind of coming here who you know who do have money even if they they don't necessarily look like it because there's a lot of travelers coming through here um with that so with that said uh the you know the servant comes up to you and um you know asks you um how how can we help you um are you looking for rooms are you looking for meals are you looking for relaxation 
uh, Ross will sort of shrug and his shoulders like, first thing I need is a bath. Hmm. Yes. Of course, of course. We have the finest baths. We have the finest baths with uh, um, in uh, in the city. Um, how long will you uh, w- will you be staying with us after the bath? Uh, was that our plan to stay here tonight? Yeah. Um, is this early in the day right now, or are we? I, I think it can be. I don't. Yeah. I think we got. I, I think I. I need to, so yeah, I, sh- I should keep track of time a little better. Um, so I think the last session was you guys kind of arrived. I doubt you would have arrived early in the morning. So you would have arrived at least at midday mm-hmm. and then kind of walked around the city to get up to the Temple of Necros and then back down here, which isn't necessarily like a far distance traveled, but but considering that it was sort of everything was new, and I think there's probably a little bit of time at the Temple of Necros where you're like giving it. Anyways, so I, I think it would be like late afternoon, early evening. That's be my guess. Yeah, I, I think uh, you know Sire would say, well, we, we certainly uh, would be interested in staying uh, the evening, and then depending on how our business tomorrow uh turns out uh we might be uh staying on longer right because part of what what sire is interested in is is getting somebody to look at the the stash of gems yeah yeah um yes yeah no no no, yeah and um so for sure. So so planning then. So so just kind of saying you're gonna spend you know spend the night. Um, and will it be uh, um, one one room or two for you? Well, on the one hand, they probably are used to rooming together. But on the other hand, they're probably used to rooming together. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it really matters to Rosk. Uh, I don't think it, that that bothers him at all. Uh, but a separate room is fine if, if that's what Sire wants. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I like what you're saying about like they're they're used to rooming together. I think for the you know for yeah Sire probably says yeah yeah um, separate rooms would be uh, would be nice. Um, and so, uh, they'll, he'll, he'll kind of, uh, say, would you like to see the rooms now or would you like refreshments first? Uh, rooms now. Okay. So, so he'll, um, so he'll show you to your rooms as you, as you pass through, I think the main kind of, so the, 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 the main entrance leads, I think into, um, this main space is a is like the the lounge or the kind of the tavern area where where people are eating and drinking. Um, I think some uh, notable. Um, I, I think there's a lot of different kinds of uh, pe- people there, to the extent that. You know, it doesn't seem like too many kind of stand out just from you guys passing through. But um, one that does stand out um, uh, just based on um, uh, size and... Uh, kind of different, you know, kind of like, you know, just kind of like difference from everyone else is a uh, is a berserker who is kind of at the at, at a head of a table, um, making a lot of noise, uh, drinking, surrounded by um, kind of a mixed band of, of like a, a traveler or, you know, kind of warrior type looking people. Um, uh, and, and they are making a, a lot of noise. Um, 
Oh, and, and maybe notable because you know berserkers usually are, are more more kind of tribal and staying out of uh, and staying out of cities and things like that. Um, but otherwise, it's sort of just the the other people you know you're kind, who are kind of there in the crowd um, that you know uh, you know kind of as you're passing through are more just kind of the, this mix of the types of people you've seen in the city so far. So hu well, mostly humans um, and humans from kind of different areas. Some look more or less local. Um, would you see? You probably and maybe. Um, Sire would notice that there is there are some Mir Miriki here too, um, and I don't know that um, you probably have seen a couple already in the in the city, but you kind of definitely are seeing them here. Um, I don't know if you makes a difference, um, but anyways, um, the the servant shows you to your rooms. They are pretty nice, so they're these are you know so you each get your own room. Um, it's so far living up to the hype that this is, you know, far more luxurious than probably any kind of thing you've seen before on your travels in, in, in a long time, if, if ever. So, um, you know, Rosk gets his, uh, you know, the servant, probably, it's probably like a different servant who then comes back and kind of says, tells Rosk his bath has been drawn, um, you know, and takes him down kind of the, uh, uh, the, the, the baths are in the lower, look, like, kind of the basement level, um, as he's kind of, uh, heated, um, you know, they've got, it's pretty luxurious. There's like, they've got like a heated floor set up so that, you know, when you walk in in there, it feels nice on your feet and, and then the bath itself is really hot. Uh, it's, um, uh, the, uh, okay. you know, Sire with the servant who, or the the staff member who's leading us to our rooms yeah. after we pass by the berserker it, like oh, sure. Sire would probably at, you know say oh that fellow is certainly uh you know taking the spotlight you know who is that i mean is that that somebody we should uh take note of oh so yeah so he says uh he says um Uh, it would be good uh, to... Well, actually, let me see. Sorry. It's not good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so he says, oh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I, you know, he is someone that um, you do not want to take note of you. Um, this is um, he's called um, uh, the he's he is called uh, Guazir, um, sometimes known as as Guazir the Great. Um, although his greatness is not for anything that any good man should should boast of, um, and uh, he. Um, You know, his, though his um, riches are, have all been gained uh, through plunder and other ill means, um, my master uh, doesn't discriminate. Um, you know, from from you know, as long as he doesn't discriminate where where uh, um, his his patrons' money comes from. Um, but uh, but do not but but. Um, uh, do not worry. Um, he uh, he has never yet made problems for any other guests, um, as long as they give him uh, wide uh, wide berth. Quasir, and he'll say. Uh, if there's any, and he'll and he'll say to you, you sire, if please, please, um, if there's anything else I can do for you, um, just ask any of any of the other servants for 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 me. Ask for Garan, and I will uh, I will be uh, happy to help or advise you. I can see I can see from, you know, I can see that you are new here, and uh, Kosara can be a uh, a 
perplexing place for newcomers. Well, uh, Goran, I, I appreciate uh, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm certainly uh, will uh, keep keep that in mind uh, as we are kind of trying to get our our uh, our feet under us at this uh, in this city. Um, and so, and the, yes, that's our role. And then, so um, then, uh, kind of, um, Ross will again have his his bath. Um, again, probably feeling, you know, this is something they haven't, you know, probably having um, not had this this kind of uh, type of experience in a while. You could imagine the. The bath water afterwards being fairly, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like uh, well, you know, days. You know, you've been you've been traveling for days through the yeah. through, through the kind of the wastes. It's, it's it's been rough, um, but then getting back to your your guys's rooms and yeah, uh, enjoying that. Um, and you, so next, what's what's your next next um on the agenda? So tomorrow we're going to be going to get the gems looked at. Is that right? Yeah, I, I think that, that would be useful, right? We, you know, if we yeah, yeah. find an honest uh, fellow to give us fair value for our gems would be useful. Yeah, where do you want to? So um, do you want to you want to start that the next day? So we'll kind of say. Uh, We can kind of do you want to kind of cut to the next day or anything else tonight um do you want to eat in your rooms do you want to eat together do you want to eat in the main area do you want to lay low do you want to kind of play it cool but not i, I guess i guess it's uh, i guess that's the you know do you want to i guess that's the, that's the would be kind of maybe the interesting choice like you know, eat in your rooms, lay low a little bit, or not. I'm not saying make a scene in the, although you could, but um, make a scene in the main tavern and, and kind of eat, and then you know, have the option for people to like be asking, seeing you, and asking questions about you. Yeah, I, I, I um, I, I'm kind of, um, yeah, I, I, not not to take a, a a real high profile, but I mean, going to the uh, to a yeah. common room to to eat just yeah. to kind of see who else is uh, around and uh, you know what what uh, if we have a chance to overhear any conversations or if uh, Guazir is in in high mode or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. So, so after you guys get kind of get settled, Rosk has his bath. You know, you can get back and you you can kind of get the tell the servants you'll you'll have dinner in the in the common room. Um, Guazir is still there with like kind of his men. They're all laughing at his his jokes. Um, it's again, it's I think it's um, let's see, I'm gonna, you know. So there's about a, a dozen kind of tables, all of which are are are, are you know most all of which are kind of full. Um, although they get you know they kind of uh, arrange for 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 you guys to have a space. Um, I think from eavesdropping, you get a, a sense that it's about. Uh, what can you get a sense from eavesdropping? I, 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 well, I mean, you get a sense. I think that you know it's a mix of of kind of locals and you know again people who are who are, who are traveling through often kind of at the same table. So, uh, so I think from from eavesdropping a little bit, you get the the sense that this is a place where you know. People who are staying here, um, 
you know, uh, you know, their contacts in the city have come here to kind of have, you know, meet, meet with them or catch up with them or talk with them. Um, let me see. Uh, let me do a, let me figure out a, a, a kind of a good random way to, to, uh, see if there's any eavesdropping here. Good. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. Um, and then, you know, as you're eavesdropping, um, the there's two, uh, you know, the, the people at the table next to you um, are a um, two uh, two humans. They both one of them is is dressed um, in. I, I think you would recognize as the 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 uh outfits of of the of the kind of m merchants who had been on the the kind of caravan with you towards the end of of your of your travels so so kind of dressed in in kind of the the clothes of a traveler um the other one is dressed in um you recognize as kind of you know robes of a, a necros cultist um so so more local and um what they seem to be talking about, and you can kind of pick pick this up, um, is they're talking about kind of local. Um, they're they're kind of worrying about the influence of a. Uh, it sounds like a, a a a new a different cult over some of the merchants in town, um, and it takes you guys, I think, a little while to figure out which cult they're talking about. But it, it turns out they they're talking about you know. The um, uh, the an, a, a cult that seems to worship Enigua, who you know is the um, you know is the is the is the father of the gods, who is um, which is which is something that's a little odd to to you guys. You hadn't you know mo most Enigua, you know to I think the extent that like you know pe people in general don't don't kind of you know, um, openly worship Enigua anymore, um, you know, for a, a lot of reasons, mainly that he kind of left and, you know, left everything to go to shit. Um, uh, and, and so that's kind of a novelty for you guys to hear, you know, especially um, that. But so, so these guys are kind of worried about this kind of, uh, you know, newfangled Enigua cult that's uh, maybe having undue influence on some of the, the merchants in the city. And um, they're kind of kind of talking about that. That doesn't seem to be the, the, the I mean, the, then they go, they, they're also like, talk, that doesn't seem to be like the, let's say the, the bulk of their business, which is about kind of, tr you know, like, oh, you know, what's going on on the trade routes and everything. But, you know, that's, that's the rumor from the rumor table that I wanted you to pick up. Mm -hmm. Um, um, Ross, Ross will, you know, see what their surface thoughts. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, so, yeah, I think the, um, I think that they're the that they are uh, probably um, in terms of in terms of that that information, like that's kind of as, you know, that that's kind of straightforward. They're they're both um, the 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 necros cultist does seem kind of it does seem generally like worried about um, kind of another you know this is you know there's already kind of three cults that have power in this city and so this idea of this other one coming in is is something that's a little bit worrisome to him and then the the traveler the 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 you know the the merchant or the caravan guy he's kind of I think thinking about like, oh, this is interesting information. Like, how can I, uh, 
is is there you know is there a way i can like get an edge or an advantage over this and he's he's not saying that to the the necros cultists he's just that's just in his head he's like oh how can i you know if they're you know how will this how will this change things for me but he can't he can't quite get a, a you know in terms of his surface thoughts he, he can't quite get his head around how how he could make use of this yet so he's kind of filing it away for later um he's just trying to keep keep an edge there and are, are there any mariki that are uh dining or drinking uh this evening uh yeah you did um you saw a couple earlier and um now uh there is only one uh left um and he is there with um two uh he's there with two humans all right i'll be right back okay no problem Sean. yeah because i i think uh you know, Sire would would probably uh, at least introduce himself to uh, the Mariki. Oh, okay, yeah, sounds good. Um, yeah. Let's see. So I will. That sounds good. We'll wait for Sean to come back to do that, though. That's fine. I just noticed when I was kind of looking up some stuff in my book that uh, I have a my book came with a, a three by five card um, in it. Oh, nice. It's a used book, but it was oh. somebody who was getting a login name and a password for their World of Jaravia membership. Ah, uh. <laughs> like, I guess they had a website or yeah. you know, some type of thing yeah. going on in the internet where, you know, you could get a membership and um, that's yeah, it's very heartbreaking. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that's why oh. they had all this stuff set up. But I know, know. Big, big blends and designs. Yeah, hard. Yeah, I was. I feel like um, so I was at a, a you know, had we had people over this evening, which is why I was late getting the kids to bed. We had like a picnic, like get kids, like with mostly for the little kids, you know, talking with the other parents. And um, I, uh, I was like saying like, oh, I'm playing, you know, a role playing game tonight. And they're like, oh, what one? And I'm just, I'm just like, I, 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 a part, a little part of me dies every time I inside every time I do this. But I'm like, oh, it's like D and D. Because it's like I don't because it's like I don't want to I, I feel like I, I don't want to say that, but then I also, you know, there's a time and place for like my 15 minute spiel about fantasy heartbreakers and Ron's essay and like why I'm doing this and like what what's this game and it's just you know which is like not it's like oh, that's this is not the appropriate setting for that or not the an audience that's not going to be appreciative of that. So I'm like, oh, it's just like D and D. But then in my heart, I'm like, oh, that's that's not. I feel bad to the, the Kibby brothers. Like, it's not. It's, they deserve better. Um, because I like. I mean, I like the game a lot. So, but anyways, love that heartbreaking. But I want to. Uh, but then you know, no one, no one really. I don't think anyone really wants to hear me talk up talk about it for 15 minutes. What was I doing the other night? Someone. My. my I, I was having some type of conversation the other night where I had to ask, like, are you sure you want me to talk about this? He was one of those, like, because I will. <laughs> but but are you sure? Forget exactly what it was. I think it might have, it probably has something to do with Star Wars, something like that. Anyways, it's like, I'll talk about Star Wars, but you, you gotta, I want to make sure that you really want me to. 
before I go down that path. Uh, anyway. Um, oh, it might have been, I was actually explaining what playing at the, the, the John Peterson book, Playing at the World was. Someone asked me what I was reading. I'm like, do you really want to know? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I really do. I'm like, well, you, you, I warned you because I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> um, but then they were like, oh, that sounds really interesting. I was like, yeah, of course. So I'm, so I'm reading it. Um, anyway, uh, so Sean, um, Asaira is going to go over and, and talk to the Marik. There's a Mariki there who's, who's eating with these two, hu you know, dining with these two humans. And he's going to go over and, and talk to and introduce himself to him. So they, um, let me, uh, we don't, we've, we've determined that there's no, like, observation role right there's no like social like notice or like anything like that as far as i can tell um there is observation but that's more like for uh, like surprise type situations or but we don't have uh, we don't have social skills in this which is fine we just have our Yeah, it's for hitting creatures and stuff. Um, no social skills, just like gamers in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, no, that's, uh, that's not true. I know, I know, but um, well, I th they have leadership, which is again. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not m m missing something. I don't think I am. Uh, so. You know, given that, um, so I, I'll, you know, given that it's uh, this is, I think then perfectly fine that we if we that I can it's up to, that it's kind of up to me. So I'll say that uh, you notice I th I think you you notice and I, and I think this actually makes sense given that, uh, you know, the idea that si you know kind of goes along with Sire being kind of in tune with with people and kind of noticing people we know that we know that's true about him and that's you know one of the reasons why he kind of uh you know does does well in these reaction roles or why mariki do well in these reaction roles so as you go over to them the mariki does a good job of like um hiding this but it looks like the other humans there were already kind of you know look you know kind of look kind of peeking at your 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 way or like having ha you know keeping an eye on you guys so it looks like they were already kind of the two humans at least were already kind of paying attention to you and you probably guess that the mariki was too he's just better at hiding it um than the, than the humans were um and then so uh so you but you approach them and and you know the mariki nods at you and, and um i don't know if there's like a uh like a, a saying that mariki um you know, give to each other when they meet each other outside of the homeland or something. But um, if not, he nods at you in a way that, like, uh, you know, conveys that type of meaning to you. I think we'll say that. There's not necessarily a saying, but, you know, he kind of nods. Um, do you want to uh, speak first? or? Yeah, I, I, I mean... Yeah. So... Okay. Um... Yes, Sire would would just say, uh, uh, "I've seen a, I, I've recently arrived in 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 the city. My name is Sire. Uh, I've I've noticed uh, a few Mariki, but uh, not many. Uh, I, you know, uh, don't don't run across uh, too many on the on the road in these parts. Uh, but I thought I would." Just be p polite and and let you know that uh, who I am uh, and uh, I I'm planning to conduct a little bit of business in the in the city. Um, and and he, the 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 Mariki will will say, uh, well well met, sire. It's true. Um, uh, not too many of us uh, get this far from the homeland, though. Though you will see that there are there are there are there are some of us uh, in, in this city, um, and there is, uh, um, you know, I I have been here for I have been here for several seasons, and it has been quite uh, quite good to me. Uh, my name my name is uh, Jugal, and I am. Uh, um, I am an in I am an I am an 
I am in the employ of the the Merchants Guild, and um, as are my my companions here. And he, uh, they, they kind of introduced themselves as as Rowan and Prate. Um, and um, um, and he'll say, and and then Juga will say, um, you know, uh, if um, I will say here. Uh, Jugo will say here, um, if you are, uh, oh, he'll, he'll, he'll say, um, and what, what is your business that, that brings you to this uh, city? Um, well, or what it, rather, what is your business here in the city? Not, not, he doesn't, he's not gonna say what brings you, but what is your business in the city? Um, well, we, uh, I, I have, uh, some, uh, some items that I am, uh, interested in, uh, having evaluated, uh, where, uh, a merchant, uh, with the appropriate expertise would be, uh, you know, able to give me, a an evaluation of, of value. Um, so he says, I would be, uh, um, if you, if you wish I could make an introduction to, uh, just about any, you know, um, any merchant dealing in any, uh, different areas that you could think of. Oh, that, that would be, um, that would be, uh, very helpful. Um, you know, it, it's late tonight, obviously, for for such introductions. But uh, I mean, would 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 you be so kind as to meet meet me tomorrow? Uh, uh, yeah, he says. Um, I, I yeah, he says. Uh, I would. Uh, you know, I would have the. Um, I can make I can I can make time for that. Um, that is part of uh, part of my uh, part of my duties uh, with the Merchant Guild is to is to uh, keep an eye out for for opportunities, and so that would that fits in with my that that, that fits fits in with my own business. Okay. Yeah. Uh... So you know, I, I guess I, I would if if he's open to this, I I'm I, I'm not gonna reveal exactly what it is that I yeah exactly evaluated, yeah. but but right. you know I would yeah. you know ask him like for a uh, a time and place that would be convenient for him for okay. you know, him to um he he can say that if you know if you're staying if you're staying here I can uh, meet you here tomorrow uh, mid morning okay. Um, sounds good. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that's reasonable. Okay. And they, yeah, so I think that's, uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. And they, the, the, and and these three are all. Uh, I should, I should say, this is, this is still good. These three kind of look, all look like, um, you know, they're all they're all pr pretty nicely dressed. But you you do notice that they're all kind of carrying. They all are all are carrying weapons in the same way that you you guys are. Um, but they're all they're all kind of nicely dressed and they're looking looking respectable. Um, like I guess everyone in here is, is carrying weapons of some sort, although not the uh, the Necros cultist and that 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 merchant guy who we were talking before. But all the guys at the berserkers table are definitely carrying. 
carrying weapons. Um, and the, the speaking of the Berserkers table, like they, they're definitely getting louder as the night goes on, but um, are ten, you know, and as they get louder, the um, tables uh, around them sort of clear out, and um, you know, there's more. Uh, I think the servants are pay, paying more um, attention to keeping other other patrons away from their away from their area. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I got too for the loop. Yeah, I, I guess what, what, one question I would have for for a servant, you know, I you know, at some point would point to how loud. Uh, Quazir is being. I mean, I'd say is is he is he staying? Uh, does he stay the night, or does he does he leave after he's uh, done making his scene? Oh yeah. Um, uh, so so yeah, the servants will say um, they have. Uh, he and his party have an entire have an entire wing. Although um, they'll say it, it is opposite where you are staying. Oh yeah, that. Thankfully, uh, I don't think I would get much, much rest if it was uh, close by. Um, okay. So, so I think, uh, yeah, I think there's no other. Um, you know, you guys, I think, managed to keep the you know keep a uh like you say you're not trying to make a high profile um so you you're, you know you're you know nothing nothing i don't think any any other major thing will happen um tonight anything else you want to do uh at dinner or before bedtime can fast I, think Ro I think oh, ross definitely ross definitely keeps a low profile i think yeah because uh, everybody in here is tall Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. That's really true. The berserk is very tall. Yeah, I don't like him at all. No. Just do not like that guy. Uh, so Ross will uh, actually kind of keeps his tail in, yeah, sort of out, um, mm -hmm. and uh, eats his food very self-consciously. Um, they're kind of constantly looking around. Not necessarily paranoid, but maybe a little paranoid. Um, when Sire has done his business, uh, Ross is probably ready to, to get out of here. Um, one thing I'm, Sire might do at night would be perhaps a little a little spying uh, work, but. Um, yeah. I don't know if I mean have we established like what time of year it is and um no I don't think so uh all that we had established in terms of the year was that for whatever reason this is the you guys had this is like the end of the season f for where people are really traveling across the wasteland I think because of weather issues so 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 for whatever reason right now like this is the, the like the, a lot of the people in this city right now are not gonna are who are who are traveling through. They're not gonna be going back to the way you came, for another couple months because th this is the bad time to travel through that, that land. You know, so the the caravans might be going to different places in 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 you know farther along, but but just for whatever reason the, the the weather is is bad and my. My um, kind of understanding of the weather, and I've been really lax about, you know, in in you know bringing this into the actual, you know, uh, shared imagined space rather than just in my head, is that uh, one, one thing they say in the book is that the weather patterns of the, of the world are completely messed up from you know, continue to be completely messed up from the God War, you know, and the ap apocalypse. So, um, and I'm not even sure kind of what, you know, whether seasons have the same meaning, you know, uh, they might, even the seasons might be, might be all, all, all messed up. So, so, um, 
so this is that's completely unhelpful to you, Robbie. But uh, I guess I would say is that like you know we're at the time of year that we can expect very severe weather to be to be happening, and that will probably encompass the city as well as especially the the the, the area between like the town, you know, the village you guys were in, and and the city. Like that area is definitely going to be kind of impassable because of these crazy storms or whatever. Um, uh, and the city itself might be on the edge of that, but I, 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 my, my vision of the city is that it is more, you know, it's, it's definitely like temp temperate to, tr you know, and it's a temperate city, you know, the, probably the, the, apart from these crazy kind of magical storms, it doesn't get su super hot or super cold, but, but there will be kind of, you know, you know, sandstorms or hurricanes or, you know, snowstorms, even some, you know, every once in a while that that's more magically driven than anything to do with the climate. Okay. Um, I should, anyways, that's probably, no, that's probably helpful, but what, what, what is, what is, um, what prompted your, your question? That's probably, I well, I, yeah, I was just, uh, kind of thinking, uh, I have, you know, a, a, uh, minor shifting spell which allows me to take uh, on the form of a small animal. Oh, nice. It mentions bat, mouse, rat, squirrel, etc. Uh, while altered, I'm unable to cast spells, use skills, or communicate with humanoid creatures, but I gain the benefit and abilities of the animal. Um, nice. And can communicate fluently with animals of the selected species. I was thinking that what I would do is uh, around the time that people are turning in, go to my room, open the window, uh, use that spell to take on the form of a small owl. Oh, cool! And yeah. then and then fly around to uh, to see if I can find where Guazir is is staying and spy into the window if if the window is open see if i'm able to pick up on anything that uh he would be saying or doing in his private room oh yeah yeah well, that sounds good um so yeah it only lasts uh 16 minutes Okay. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, I got 16 minutes for it. And it'll cost me 26 spell points. But I'm turning in for the night, so I can yeah, yeah. Like, rest and you can, you can get them back. Um, so, um, you, you know, you, 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 Go over and um, you hear um, Guazir is kind of having his is is having this conversation um, with 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 one of the guys who he was you know eating and drinking with, and the and and this is a uh, a very tough looking human um, guy who is you know, looks like a, a fairly weathered, you know, you know, bandit mercenary type and, um, and is, is in, you know, is like wearing, you know, his like studded leather armor and is like, looks like he just came off the trail, but is, you know, kind of does have like probably like some cons conspicuous like rings on him or like some signs of wealth, you know, from spoils or whatever. Um, and he's, uh, trying, he seems to be trying to convince Guazir that um he's saying you know these the uh the uh encampment of 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 uh dunar outside of the city um they are uh, they would be easy they would be easy pickings for us the the city guards will not follow us out there you know there's a reason why they they are not you know welcome in the city um you know they are known to have uh, great treasures and great magical treasures, and um, we, we, you know, we would be able to, uh, 
you know, we we, we would be able to 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 take from them, and they would they would not be able to fight back against your might, Guazir. Um, and uh, the the city guards will 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 you know even though it's within sight of the city walls, the city guards will will watch, and they will not they will not do anything to help them. Uh, we could we could come right back into the city and sell what we have stolen, and no one will raise a fuss. Like those, the Dunar are, are, you know, considered bad omens everywhere. No one will no one will blame us for uh, for for uh, anything we pillage from them. Um, and and he says like you know, and I I know there's other things we you know I know that you know we it's you know I know we have other things to do and other places to go and other people to 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 raid, but. Um, it's it's it seems a shame to leave such a a uh, ripe target uh, when it is when it you know we can we can practically see it from here. Do, do I and, know what the 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 Dunar is referring to, or is that? Oh yeah, so the Dunar would be like those. Um, the Dunar are like those. Um, what do I want to say the. Uh, um, I forget what oh, I, I, I forget I, how um I, I see I, I forget see. how like Ron characterized them as like goth like mm -hmm. you know they travel around at at night and um so they 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 specialize in enchantment magic they travel around at night they have no region mm -hmm. to call, call you know they 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 don't do well in the day they don't have any home home region to call their own um, they're they're shunned by everyone. Um, they uh, um, but I, I think the I think I think there's like a I think kind of my my addition to the um, mythos here is that they are the they are on the, they're like the greatest. Um, crafters of enchanted items um, and magical items and enchantment. And so um, they are and so like there's there's a, so they're sort of tolerated for that and that kind of lets them get by but they're still mistrusted and you know not allowed not very welcome in, in, in cities and generally have to kind of, you know, yeah, stay, you know, kind of have their own little encampments, you know, nearby cities when they're, when they're kind of traveling or trading. Um, and I think kind of following on that, like, uh, if, if, Yeah, and they, I, I don't, I think, I, because I, I, I thought about mentioning these guys to you last time, the Dunars, but I think that they, um, you know, you would know that if there's a Dunar camp here, it's, it's not like a, you know, they, they, they do travel a lot, they don't, um, stay in one place too long, um, so you can kind of put together, they must be, they, you know, and, and they didn't, they, they probably didn't come from the same direction you guys were coming from. Um, so they're, they kind of probably had come someplace else and, you know, are, are, are about to, or will it, it sh at some point shortly be, be moving on. But for now they're, you know, camped out here, I guess they would be there to like, you know, trade, you know, they would, they would kind of trade with, with, uh, the city and then, and then eventually kind of move on to, to trade other places. Um, and, and, and when, when Guazir hears this, I mean, does he have any immediate reaction or is he, does he seem to be mainly just be thinking about it or? Uh, I mean, I think he thinks like, um, he's the type of guy I think who, um, doesn't like to take other people's ideas so that he has to kind of, that he has to kind of wait till it becomes his own idea. So, so <laughs> I, I, I think that's what happens. I, I wish I, I don't know that I can play out that conversation in a way that like gets that across. Yeah. Um, we could if we were kind of writing if I was like writing this out as a screenplay, but I think that's the idea that like he, he, he says like oh um, you know he kind of pushes back at first and says like oh it's not worth it like, and then and then 
the guy's like, well, just think about it. And he's like, well, I guess you're right. Like, you know, or like he says, like, but there are, you know, the maybe the, the you know, the magic items would be worth it. Or maybe getting a hold of some of that enchantment would be worth it. And then he says, like, I think I, yeah, I think this is the right thing for us to do. And mm -hmm. and kind of forgets that the, that the other guy, you know, instigated the plan. Kind of, it's, you know, it's his plan. And so he says, um, you know, uh very well we'll we will uh i think by kind of we'll say like by the end of it you guys have you have we'll give you enough information to say like um we you know uh we we can um we will visit them we will visit them uh you know when when we leave but um first uh you know i, I we still have another but i still want to um but, but first we will still spend our gold here you know have another day of spending this this gold here before we go um i still have more business to do in the city before before we leave okay yeah and i think sire is always like when when he has this spell operating is always very alert to time i mean he he wants to just make sure he gets flies flies back to his window before before uh the spell expires yeah that makes sense um okay that's pretty good um okay so um rosk anything else you want to do i think rosk was pretty content to um, let's go back to his room and get prepared. So sharpen his lines, clean his leathers, uh, get everything ready for tomorrow. Okay. Um, he wants to look good. Uh, so well groomed, you know, like he didn't yeah. just come off a dusty trail. Uh, okay. But he doesn't, yeah, yeah. you know, but he wants to also look like a, a professional. So he probably like early in his his life he was probably ran around a lot like in rags or ratty leathers. So he's got a little bit of a little bit of money now. So it's it's he wants to look good, uh, but he also looks tough. So uh, he he spends a little time with vanity, I think. Um, if there was anything interesting that he picked up walking past people. Mm, okay. Specifically, he, as he walked, he wants to know that he was probably looking for people who may have been avoiding him, who may be aware of his people, the, the Jaram's ability. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me, um... Yeah. So... So, you know, I think since yeah, since you you mentioned that, I will say that, you know, you would I think have gotten the I think I think it's fair to say since you know, um, again I, this isn't we don't have like a role for this, but I think it's it's reasonable to to say that of the you know of the people that seem to be avoiding you, the the Mariki that Sire talked to and those. And, and and the two humans he was with did you know did seem to be wanting to avoid you um uh other otherwise the you know the people at the berserkers table you know before they left they they would be completely ignoring you you know um you're too small for them to pay attention to um and then it doesn't seem like the the servants or any of the people working there are particularly um, worried about about being around you. Um, the the uh, I, I think that the guys in the table next to you um, kind of didn't seem they noticed you, so you're not really sure if they avoided you or not. Like they didn't they didn't seem to notice you though. Um, sure. Again, you guys weren't you know, trying to make yourself conspicuous in any way, so that you know they were they were kind of intent in their conversation. In terms of picking up other stuff, um, I th I think most I think you know 
you know, I think the um, the the surface thoughts coming off the 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 guys, you know, the the people with Guazir and those those berserker things, they're all, you know, all of them are, they're all probably, you know, while they're eating and drinking and and kind of carousing. I think their surface thoughts are all about kind of status games that have to do with like in the hierarchy of the group of like, mm -hmm. oh, Guazir is favoring that guy instead of me. And like, what does that mean for the share I'm going to get? And like, you know, that's and, you know, every, everyone's kind of thinking that about everyone else, too. So like everyone is sort of paranoid or, um, you know, in, you know, think about these status games. So even though they look like they're all kind of having fun and carousing, um, all of them are actually like in their heads are like, you know, really sort of stressed out about this, this, you know, the hierarchy of the, of the, of the gang stuff is what is what is in their heads. Um, I already talked about the, what was in the heads of the guys who were next to you. Um, the servants, you know, I think by and large, you know, their surface thoughts are, are pretty much like, like just, you know, the, um, straightforward wanting to you know do a good job and you know not wanting to kind of get in trouble like you you don't get the sense that anyone is um particularly like not what they the, among the servants like not what they seem or like are kind of doing thinking something very different from what they're doing um and then the uh, the other like people we talked about like the the mariki and the other two they they actually avoid they stay away from stay away from you um anything sp any specific things you wanted to go after or look at or or do in terms of that or the gen just the kind of the general just rundown? general yeah uh, I, I feel like um uh, it's not that he's let his guard down at all he hasn't yeah yeah um but he, uh, right now, I guess in his mind, it's it's um, this, let's, let's take care of business first, and then we'll hunt up someone to we'll hunt up some trouble after we take care of business. Okay, sounds good. Um, so anything else for the the night? Sounds good. So I'd I'd like to cut just to the next mid morning when you guys are meeting with Jugal is going to take you to that. If, if there's nothing else, we can kind of say that you know you also have a luxurious, nice breakfast. Um, the, I guess the I guess the one thing would be is, do you want to settle up your bill with them, or do you want to kind of keep this as a base for now, or or, or like look to move to you know maybe cheaper accommodations going forward, or spend another night. Well, what is the current bill <laughs> so far? Um, so your your rooms were each um, uh, six gold pieces because you guys get six, you know, kind of uh, nice rooms, and then the the meal cost for for both of you four gold pieces, so ten ten gold pieces total. So so not not bad in the grand scheme of things, but then if you you know only about two weeks worth of You know, you could you could, in terms of just your cash on hand, that would, you could stay here for two weeks and then need to replenish. I mean, that that's not counting whatever you get for the gems, but. Um. Maybe we could stay another night. There's some interesting characters here. Yeah. Um. So one more night, one night. Good. Okay. So um, you know, uh, Jugal meets you at the time as planned. So this is his first time meeting up. You know, kind of talking with Rosk and seeing Rosk, and um, yeah, and, he. Oh, well, go ahead. And, and I, I think you know, before the meeting, you know, Sire would 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 say to Rosk, okay. I think I have somebody who can, you know, kind of give us a appropriate introduction, but uh, you might want to keep your uh, your antennae uh, up to see if, uh, you know, you're able to pick up on him. 
thinking things that uh, might put us in a compromising position or, or result in us getting, uh, you know, dealt with unfairly. Okay. So see what else. Okay. So 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 yeah, so this is again the first time Jugal is really meeting Rosk. Um, and, and so he, he will, he will kind of proactively introduce himself and say, hi, I, you know, or, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Jugal. I work, uh, I'm, you know, I'm in, in the employee of the, as I told, as I told your companion, I'm in the employee of the merchant's guild. Um, and I am happy to, uh, help you, uh, both with whatever business you might have with any of the, the merchants in the city. Um. And so uh, I'm here because uh, you know you had asked for um, help with evaluate you know evaluation of of certain goods, and um, I am I assure you that uh, you know the merchants in in Kosura are um, there. There's there are merchants who are experts in any um, you know kind of uh, good or item you might have. Um, just you know, t tell me what it is, and I will I will. I will bring you to the. Uh, I will bring you to the uh, proper person. Uh, yeah, I think at that point, you know, Sire would say, "Well, we have uh, we have some gems that uh, need evaluation." Ah, uh, uh, very very easy. There are several. Uh, there are several very. Uh, you know, trustworthy, honest um, uh, gem merchants that I can that I can bring you to. Um, where, uh, yeah, where, where, uh, where did these gems come from? Where are their Where is their origin? Um. <laughs> um uh, uh. Well, we we. Uh happened upon them when we were uh, uh, doing uh, service to uh, somebody uh, at, um, I don't know that he, he I, I think he, Sire will be vague. He'll say, you know, we, we, we were performing some valuable services for uh, 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 a, a politician of some, uh, of some stature uh, down the road, um, uh, you know, if 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 the concern is whether whether oh. these gems are are stolen property, <laughs> I can assure you that they are not. Oh, he he says uh, he says oh uh, of of course we um, we're we're more enlightened here in the city. We do not concern ourselves with with things like that we wouldn't i wouldn't be worried about things like that you know you seem like you seem like trustworthy you seem like trustworthy worthy folks um and, and i think sire would also um like you know i have no idea like sire in this case doesn't really know like you know i sire's feeling like this person probably needs a you know there should be some fee or perhaps some incentive like if there are a number of of merchants right uh, please, would you please take us to the one who would be uh, most, uh, you know, uh, have have the most expertise in this area and and be the one who would be most uh, truthful in dealing with us. And I'm maybe like five gold pieces to, you know, as as a little fee uh, to pay to him. Oh, you'll pay. You'll, you'll you'll slip him that now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Um. Is he? Does he? Do I sense that he's pleased when he gets that? Um. Uh, uh, oh. 
it's probably hard. Uh, so, so, you know, I, the interesting thing here is that he's, you've, you've, you've dealt with this before, Ross, when kind of you're dealing with someone who kind of like knows that you can read minds um, to a certain extent of someone who's trying to, seems to be very trying, trying very hard to like not think things but the thing is that and I'm, I'm making this is like a judgment call on my part and it isn't like written in the rules but it's more an inter, inter, interpolation so the the Mariki have that minus four to save versus mind uh, uh, things so what I will that so 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 I think whether he can kind of successfully do this or not is gonna I'm gonna just leave to that say a saving throw um, to the extent that he can kind of keep keep some of these thoughts out with with the minus four, um, and I think that's fair. Um, where have we got saves? I don't have a save for him, so I gotta I gotta I gotta roll up this guy's saving throw. Sorry, one second. I thought I had a. Uh, I have like as a, and would it be the same as mine, um, as a marine? No, because I think the saving, the saving throw is like um, based on your luck, which mm -hmm. I think is a rolled stat, right. rolled attribute. Sorry, rolled characteristic. So it's a two. Uh, here we go. Ooh, you got it. Uh, Okay. 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 So he's got a pretty good saving throw. So, so he's, so he's, um, so is he pleased about getting the five gold pieces? So that was, a, that was a long thing to go through to get to that. He's, he's doing that thing where he's, it seems he's con like, you can tell he's caught, like, you can tell enough that like, he's consciously trying to like, keep kind of these thoughts in his head while he's around you. And, and he's, he's working hard at it. Right. Um, and so as far as you can tell, like, as far as you can tell, he's not, he's, he's behaving, as far as you can tell, he's like behaving, like he's not thinking anything different than he's saying. He seems to be thinking like great five gold pieces, but, but you know that like he's consciously trying to do it. So you don't know what is going on or what he's trying to hide, but you, you do know enough that like, this is, you know, he's on, he's on guard now whether or not that's because you know he's up to something or he just does you know he's just that's how he behaves around jerems when he's you know worried about this you know who knows but right. but he's he's definitely thinking that um uh so so there's there's that i don't know if that changes your how you want to approach this or um no uh I think you're right. I think uh, Ross has probably run into people before who know what the germs do or what we can do. Um, so, yeah, I'll just keep a, you know, uh, every now and then I'll keep a, I'll keep an ear, mind out, uh, see if anything slips through. Like, uh, you know, maybe, like, maybe if at some point there's, uh, he does show a lot of emotion, I might try again yeah scene. yeah yeah and i think like that i think it's fair to say like if, if if something else comes up or some the circuit i think you, you can we can kind of i don't think i don't think it's like a case where like oh the one throw means the one saving throw means it's for good it, it's just i think for in this instance he's kind of managing to keep it together 
um, or keep his defenses up a little bit. And and if the circumstances change, then that for you know if it makes sense that the circumstances would have changed in terms of what he's up to, then uh, we'll do another one. Um, if 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 Ross gets still interested in poking at it, um, interesting stuff. Remind me to. And we don't see the the two human companions when we're meeting up with him. Right? No, they aren't with him. Okay. No, you don't see them. Sorry, mm -hmm. you don't see them. Um. So, he says, you know, I will, uh, you know, I will take you. I will definitely take you to um, a trustworthy. Um, honest, honest merchant, and he's and he says, you know, uh, he well, he says, I know, I guess he'll say this. He's gonna say this. You ask, you know, asking for a, tr a trustworthy and honest merchant in in a city like Kosura is like asking for, um, you know, it, it is like asking for uh, like a, a virgin at a brothel. Like they, you know, if even if someone says that this is what they are, like you know, it is it is probably not true. Um, but I will I will take you to to someone who has been in in business quite a while and who um, you know has is is uh, you know as 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 a lot of ex, you know experience with this and who has um, wishes to stay in business for a long time so that he he can't afford to. Uh, make too many enemies um and and you know you can ask around you know if, if, if you don't try take my word for it you can ask around but um his you know i, I will take you to him his name is onesimus and i will i will i'm happy to take you to him now um you know um you know he he i'm i'm he, if he's not able to, to to see us today i'm sure he, he will be able to we'll be able to have have room for that You guys can go. He'll, he'll take you, and I think as you guys go, he'll, you know, uh, let me to my little map. Um, so he takes you. Uh, okay, so. Where is it? Where would this be? Okay, yeah. Um, so, okay, yeah, this is interesting. So, so you know, you guys are in this. You know, you start and we'll do a little bit of a tour. So, you start in this. Um, you know, you know, outside the Bronze Colossus, which is in this little courtyard or the or big courtyard, a big plaza where the well is. You know, again, you see kind of these, you know, mourners there. Um, uh, you know, Jugo leads you kind of up, uh, sort of starting to go back up into the upper city a little bit, and then around, and then staying in the lower city, um, he t he takes you to where there is a uh, large um, kind of canal um, kind of uh, you know a, a kind of a large canal kind of right in the in the middle of the city that's kind of goes goes up um, and the canal you know as you as you look up to where the canal as it goes farther into the city it seems to uh, kind of enter underground um, underneath uh, the part of the upper city right where you can you can make out the the, the plaza or the the palace of the the necros cultist so that's kind of like up in the distance as you kind of so you basically you you kind of come into this area where there's like a, a, a this like can canal leading up so there's like two big thoroughfares on each side of the canal as well as the canal itself 
um, and then at the at the, the top of it is is the uh, is the palace. Um, but he you don't go up that way. You kind of he takes you over a bridge, um, uh, over the canal, and there's a large kind of building that is you know right on the other side of the canal from here, and it's a it it's like a it's like a uh, complex of different like um, you know, he 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 brings you into it you know he brings you into this big building and it's it's like inside the building is one of these uh, it's like it looks like it's like a big building on the outside and on the inside it's like all these like little buildings and each each little building is either like seems to be like a, a different like merchants kind of set up like a different either like a, a you know a lot of this is like wholesale type things so it's like different merchants trading with each other um um and, and things like that it's very bustling like there's a lot of activity going on there's lots of different things being being bought and sold um no one's really uh you know again like no one's paying paying particular attention to you guys but um he take you know so this is this is this is kind of what's going on so he takes you to um one of these little buildings in the bigger building and um you know he goes in and talks to the the people there and says uh you know comes back out and says you're you are in luck um on onesimus will um onesimus is is available would be available to to see and talk with you now um and he says uh, do you wish me to you know i'm happy to 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 act you know i'm i'm happy to assist you and act more as your agent um i'm happy to wait and escort you back to your, your you know the the bronze colossus or if you feel uh if you feel you can make your own way back i have, I, I certainly do have other things i can be taken care of yeah i i, I feel like we you know I was taking note of, of the way that we yeah. that we went, so uh, we appreciate your your assistance. He says uh, he says that um, you can reach me uh, the um, the merchants guild house is uh, the merchants council house um, is in the upper city. Uh, you know, he says he kind of tells you directions to get there, um, and um, you know, so, you know, the the servants there can always get me a message if you ever need need my services again. Okay. Yeah, and then um, maybe there's a Mariki uh, goodbye. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Say goodbye. That's so good. Um. So there's that piece. Okay, so he has given you the introduction to, uh, or he's kind of set you up to kind of see Onesimus. Um, um, and, um, you know, Onesimus is an old, old, you know, he's, so Onesimus has is, is got this, he's this room. You know he's not a uh, again. This is he's not. This is not like retail. So like you go in and they're not like kind of gems anywhere. It's you know, but there's probably lots of little safes, lots of little you know. Um, you know, I wonder what what would medieval safe. So so they're probably it's so so they wouldn't be like safes. There's like locked like lock boxes. So you know there's like like lots of different lock boxes with these like big huge padlocks on them and you know, in like little boxes that are, that are locked up. So a lot of like different, like individual little boxes, um, all, all, all kind of locked up, um, you know, different slips of paper on them kind of saying like what, you know, probably inventory or, or, you know, who's bought what or like where it's going to, to where, um, and, and he, you know, so the Anisimus has a couple servants working with him there. He's an old human guy. Um, I, I think he has like, I picture him as um, having kind of this, you know, really long white, um, you know, Gandalf style beard um, and, you know, but, you know, dressed sort of shabbily, um, but not so much out of like um, more of like an absent-minded professor type shabbily, like not someone who's like, 
like poor, doesn't have money, but just is like more, you know, kind of so busy and so focused on his his, his business that he doesn't like keep up with, um, you know, staying as hygienic as he maybe should. Um, but but you know, you you get the sense of like what the of you know this seems he definitely seems like legit. Like he doesn't seem like a you know this, the the setup seems like legit as far as you can tell. Um, but he says, you know, what uh, my my uh, um, I was told you have uh, I was told you had 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 gems that you're seeking to value. Um, if you, uh, I'm happy to I'm happy to take a look at them and happy to give you my uh, my my estimate. Um, I, you know, uh, I would not uh, charge you for that service um but uh if you uh you know if you if you wish to sell so they'll say um if if you wish to sell them to me i will not charge you for that service um you know if you uh you know if you do not and you wish to to go someplace else uh, for an estimate i will uh um I will, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to to let you do that as well. But but you know, I will tell you, no, you will not get a you will not get a fairer deal um, in in all of Kosora than from me. You know, so I would rec I would not recommend doing that. Uh, so Ross will think to uh, Sire. Uh, I'm going to show him the six small gems first, and then we'll show him the two big gems. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Ross will reach in and just. Plunk the gems onto the uh, table or the counter. Um, yeah, sounds good. So he says, um, ah, yes. Um, you know, so he, he says, you know, these are, uh, you know, I, I would say these are, these are fairly, these are fairly rustic. These do not look like, um, uh, these are, these are good stones, but they, uh, um, you know, they seem to have been handled in a, in a fairly primitive uh, fashion. Um, uh, he kind of, you know, he, he looks them over. He probably, uh, you know, he, he kind of weighs them in his hand. You know, kind of brings out a scale, puts them on a scale, and kind of weigh, weighs weighs each of them. Um, okay. Um, so he 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 says, uh, you know, th these would be um, these would be worth ninety. I, I could give ninety gold pieces for each of you know for each of these. That would be a fair price. Like ninety, ninety each. Yeah. So Ross doesn't show any outward sign, but. Uh... Sorry, it's like 90 each. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, so you, you could tell that Rosk is, is like, hey, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's get rid of this stuff already. Um, but obviously, you know, if, if Sire has a different thought on it. No, I mean, um, that seems like a handy amount. Uh, Ross will, uh, I, I guess Ross will like sort of nod, like, yep, yeah, okay, good. I have two more, or we have two more gems as well. Oh, okay. He'll pop oh, may, I see, may I see those? Yeah, he'll pop both of them out as well. Okay. Um, so, so, you, so, so these, uh, so I think when we, Okay, so I think, the, I think these are the rubies from the uh, from the yeah, idols. Yeah, I think. these are the idol eyes. So, so he looks at these and says, like, oh, these, you know, these, these are, you know, he says these are in a different, these are a different story. Um, these are these are a little more interesting. He says, where, you know, I, I ask, um, I know that uh, in my line of business, um, you know. 
I should say that uh, in my line of business, I, I, I am discreet, but I am, I am interested. Um, where where did you um, uncover these? Ross just sort of like looks at Sire for a moment. <laughs> uh, Sire says, "Yeah, but we we were uh, before before coming here." Uh, we were performing uh, some service to a um, uh, uh, the leader of a of a town who uh, was uh, having having difficulties with um, well with uh, people who dabbled in in sorcery so they they were people who uh kind of were uh dealing with some dark magic um and uh we we helped we helped her deal with with that group and and that group had had some gems which we were able to keep as a result of the services to the to the town I follow you. I follow you. Um, yes, I've I've uh, I've um, seen these rarely. Um, they uh, they are of an, uh, an ancient craftsmanship, or they 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 come from um, you know the you know you, you know they 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 come from the you know the time before um, and and as such. Um, they have um their their value um as stones is not as much as is, is perhaps not as much as as their value to to interested parties um and and so um i would be happy to offer you um for the for the pair of them um 1200 gold pieces however um i would also uh be willing to act as your agent um but it would take uh but to 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 to, to locate some some uh of these ex of these parties um in which case we you know you may be able to get more uh, uh but it might take some time Do I get the impression he's telling the truth? Yeah, yeah. He's he seems to be telling the truth. Like, I mean, if he was gonna lie, he would just kind of not offer that. So it seems like he's he's kind of being legit. Like I guess what you're seeing is um I guess his service thought is like he's hoping that you guys actually have more, like have a, a source or can kind of like th what he's hoping is he gets more information of like where you got them from. That's that's kind of the to the extent that he has an ulterior motive, it's that he wants he wants to know more about that because if you know if if these two exist and there's more like it someplace else then like he he'd want that so he's willing to kind of either pay a sum you know he he knows he can get more than the 1200 from some people um but he's kind of willing to you know kind of offer that up to you as 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 a way to like lure, not lure you in but as a way to just kind of find out more about what's going on or where you got them. Yeah. But it uh, isn't like in a it isn't like in a backstabby way. Right. It's in like a how can he get the most out of you guys way, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, I I, I mean I think maybe you know Sire would, would kind of wave rosk over to a corner so that we could have a little private conversation yeah, yeah. and and he'll even say like you know he, you know he'll even say like feel free feel free to 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 talk feel free to uh, talk you know yeah we have i have no hurry i'm here all the time feel free to take them you know take them and come back you know you can make a decision yeah but he says I'm, i won't i'm not gonna i won't mention them to anyone until you know until you give me the go ahead but uh but or or i'm happy just to uh you know, take them and, 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 you know, find, you know, 
perhaps find other interesting parties on my own time, but. Yeah, so I mean, so Sire would say to Rosk, you know, it sounds like we we could get uh, more than twelve hundred, but but to do so, uh, I'm I'm less concerned with with the the waiting uh, game and and more with like the additional questions that that we would face, and yeah. also who these other parties are. Uh, um you know the the, the idea um if you know 500 so we get 540 gold pieces for the the small gems right right um and then another 1200 to and then make a, a kind of clean break of it uh you know and and Onesimus <laughs> can deal with the other parties as he as he pleases it's a vast city uh lots of you know uh opportunities probably await us here yeah I agree there's no need to uh hang on to the past too much um so um So if he asks specifically, are we going to tell him the, ge the general area where we got them, or? Yeah, I, I, I think if you guys take the 1,200, the idea is he's not going to ask any more questions. Oh, that, that, oh. that's even yeah. better, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the idea is that the 1,200 means, like, you guys have made the deal. He's not going to ask more questions. He's gonna he's gonna kind of do his own research and figure stuff out on his own, but yeah. he's not gonna. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the deal. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, yeah. uh... So so he you know he has to kind of get he kind of gets this this all together. He says, "Do you wish to? Um, do you wish to?" Uh, um, Take take this in coin, or do you wish to a uh, letter of credit to a banking house? Um, tell me how how you wish this to be done. Could we um, could do a little both? Yeah, that sounds. I was, I was thinking that that would be uh, nice to so that we're not like lugging around a yeah. bunch of coins but yeah if we could get um yeah some of it in coin and and then the letter of credit so yeah so how much you guys can t tell me how much you guys want to carry around so i think you know i'm gonna go you know i think the i like how much does a uh You know, Forge doesn't have like kind of encumbrance rules or give weight for anything. Um, and so, uh, they're saying fifty. Um, so just to this sort of generic Dungeons and Dragons thing that I just Googled, 50 coins weighs a pound, which I think is, I think in like, is it like basic or Holmes is like 10 coins per pound or something? Something like that. But uh, 10 coins per pound seems like pretty kind of heavy coins. Yeah. But uh, so if you turn it all into... Uh, if you turn it all into coins, that's 34 pounds of coins. So it's not, that's not too bad, but it is sort of bulky and, and maybe, you know, hard to get or whatever. But so what, what, how, how would you want to break that up or? Uh, I'd suggest 50 coins each, so 100. And then the other 16, 40 uh, in a banknote. 
Oh, that's easy for him to do. He's, he's definitely got so so. You know, getting fifty coins each to you guys is is pretty is pretty is pretty basic. Um, and then you get a, uh, a a note for the rest to one of the banking houses. Um, that that uh, is kind of which is even a name you've heard of. The banking house is probably a name. I, I I'll I'll get it. I, I, I'll, I'll dig it up, but. Um, I think it's probably a name you've even heard of, like from far off from where you guys came from. Okay. And then any anything else? Anything next here? I, I, I think, you know, uh not an immediate plan, but I think uh, you know, Sire would would, would have mentioned to Rosk that uh it sounds like our our vociferous friend uh Guazir the Great may be having sights on raiding uh, a part of uh, Dunar outside the city. Um, you know, p uh, almost purely as a, just a, a kind of grab for what other, whatever that they may have with them. I think he's hoping for some type of enchanted objects that the that the Dunar are, are known for um, and we might want to give some some thought to uh, that uh, raid I'm certainly not not inclined to help Guazir but uh, there may be an opportunity for uh, some profit perhaps by by uh, helping the the victims to uh, stave off that uh, you know loud berserker um, yeah I'm, I'm all for that I didn't like that guy at all so if we make his life miserable Mr. Too Tall and angry <laughs> uh, I'm happy to do that 